February 20th is the day that my whole life changed. I don't want to go grocery shopping because every time I go grocery shopping, it reminds me of them and I end up picking up things, forgetting that they're not here. And so it's just painful. We don't want them to be remembered by how they died. Oh, that's the people that got killed by the Uber driver. I want them to be remembered, oh, those are the two loving, caring, compassionate people that were taken way too soon. When you think of people who live in Kalamazoo County, you think of the Smith family. Mom Lori, Dad Rich, son Tyler, daughter Emily, close-knit, very tight family. Rich, he was the life of the party. My brother and my dad, their personalities were identical. They were super close. Tyler was 17. He was a soccer player. Very carefree attitude. You know, thought that nothing could touch him. <laughs> This was a group of older women who were friends who loved socializing together. They played cards, they loved to go to shows, and they did that on a regular basis. It was their way of keeping their friendship together. Mary Jo Nye was a school teacher, and her sister-in-law, Mary Lou Nye, was a retired employee from the Department of Motor Vehicles in Michigan. Well, my wife loved to cook. Uh, she was, my wife made a heck of an apple pie. Nobody's ever made one better as far as I'm concerned. We always believed that she was gonna outlive me. We made discussions what to do when I died. We never really contemplated what I would do. Judy Brown was a caregiver for senior citizens. She took care of older people. She was very happy. She was active in her church. She loved to socialize. Barbara Hawthorne was a retired worker from Kellogg's, the cereal maker in Battle Creek. She was the hippie aunt. She had an amazing record collection, Dylan, The Who, The Birds. Abigail Kopp considered Barbara Hawthorne her grandma. She called her grandma. They were just very close friends, but that's how Abigail factored into the group of older women. She would hang out with Barb and all her friends. Barb would take her to card games or to her sewing class or whatever, so Abby was around a lot of older women. Does it bother you that there still hasn't been in any way rational explanation for what he did? It does bother me. Would it be easier if, if there were a reason? It would make me feel better. I don't understand why it was me. Why it had to be me and why it had to be Grand Barb. We both didn't deserve it. She always wanted to go on a hot air balloon ride, and she never got a chance to do that. So last summer, I took her ashes to Sedona and went in a hot air balloon and left her out there in the desert. So she's right where she wanted to be. Tiana Carruthers, a 25-year-old mother, she's spending her Saturday afternoon with her friends and her daughter. She was just out there, and he came up, and the next thing you know, he is shooting at her. For one split second, I was like, this might be it. Him gunning me down, it doesn't define me. Tiana now, I'm strong. Stronger than I ever could imagine. They say Kalamazoo's strong. This is a community, you can knock us down, but we're gonna get right back up.